today we are going to discuss about precedence and associativity while solving an expression in c we should have knowledge of precedence and associativity of the operators before knowing what is precedence and associativity let us try to know what is the expression an expression is combination of variable constants and operators written according to the syntax of the c language now if we see this diagram we see that an expression y equal to a plus b is written in this expression we have three variables y a and b two operators are present assignment operator and addition operator in this expression a and b are called operands some examples of c expression are shown in the table given below now if we have algebraic expression we have to make some modification while writing for c expression for example if we have a into b minus c this is an algebraic expression when we write this algebraic equation in as a c expression some modification is to be made in place of the cross symbol we use the asterisk so a asterisk b minus c m plus n into x plus y this expression in c expression is written like this one in a similar way ab slash b can be written as a, a asterisk b slash c now if we have 3x square plus 2x plus 1 algebraic equation while solving this one using the c language we have to modify this expression and we write as a c expression like this one 3 asterisk x asterisk x plus 2 asterisk x plus 1 similarly x less y plus c is written as a x less y plus c evaluation of the expression how expression is evaluated in the c programming language an expression is evaluated based on the operator precedence and associativity so we should know the precedence and associativity of the operator used in the expression when there are multiple operators in a in an expression they are evaluated according to their precedence and associativity the operator with higher precedence is evaluated first and the operator with the least precedence evaluated last now let us discuss operator precedence it dictates the order of evaluation of operators in an expression for example if we have expression 24 plus 5 asterisk 4 then how this expression is evaluated from this figure it is clear knowing that the multiplication operator asterisk has the higher precedence than the addition operator so first this operation is performed 5 is multiplied by 4 that results in 20 and then 
this 20 is added to the 24 and finally we get the 44. Associativity. It, de it defines the order in which operators of the same precedence are evaluated in an expression. So given is the expression, it may possible that number of the operators appear and these operators are, are of the same precedence. So then how to solve this one? This is using the associativity. Associativity can be either from left to right or right to left. For example, given the expression as 100 slash 10 into 10. And in this expression, slash that is for the division and asterisk multiplication, these two operators have same level of the precedence. But associativity is from left to right as far as arithmetic operators are concerned. So first we see the slash operator that is division operator. So this has higher associativity whereas asterisk for multiplication has lower asterisk associativity. So first we perform the division that is 100 divided by 10 that results with 10 and then 10 is multiplied by the 10 and finally we get the output as a 100. So while solving this expression we have to follow the associativity. Now this table shows the precedence as well as associativity of the operators. So in this table we see that brackets have the highest associativity and equal, plus equal, minus equal, asterisk is equal, these operators as the lowest precedence. These three brackets, curly brackets, small brackets, square brackets, have the higher precedence, but they are in the same level of the precedence. So when these brackets appear, we have to evaluate them from left to right. Now if we talk about the arithmetic operators, we see here that multiplication, division, modulus operator have higher precedence than the addition and subtraction operator. When these operators appear in an expression, we have to uh, evaluate the expression according to their precedence. Also, if operators of the same precedence appears, we have to evaluate the expression from left to right. Now let us see an example. If we have to solve an expression x is equal to 10 minus 3 modulo 8 plus 6 slash 4. Then knowing that modulus operator and division operator have same precedence level but while solving the expression we have to follow the associativity from left to right. So modulus operator is acted first and giving the 3 modulus 8 as a 3 plus 6 slash 4. Then in this uh, expression we are having the division operator. 
and this division operator has higher precedence than subtraction and multiplication sorry addition operator so first we perform the division operation and that results 6 divided by 4 both operands are integer and it results as a 1 so 10 minus 3 plus 1 Again here we find that two operators subtraction and addition operators appear but these two operators has same precedence. So we have to follow the, the associativity from left to right. So first 3 is subtracted from 10 and then 1 is added to this. So 10 minus 3 results as a 7 then plus 1 and finally we get output as a 8. In this example we have to solve an expression x is equal to 17 minus x slash 4 into 2 plus 3 minus plus plus 5. In this expression if we recall the precedent table we find that uh, plus plus that is increment operator has the highest priority and the assignment operator has the lowest priority so while solving this one we have to solve the operator having the highest priority so in this expression first we have to increment the value of 5 that result in 6 and the expression can be written as a 17 minus 8 slash 4 into 2 plus 3 minus 6 now in this resulting expression we find that uh, division and multiplication operator have highest priority than the subtraction and addition operator so we have to solve the division and uh, multiplication operator following the associativity rule so first uh, we solve uh, division and then the multiplication so in this step 8 slash 4 and this results with 2. So our next uh, expression becomes 17 minus 2 into 2 plus 3 minus 6. So again uh, 2 into 2 is solved first as a multiplication is having the highest priority than others. So 17 minus 4 plus 3 minus 6. Now in resulting expression subtraction and uh, addition operators are present and uh, these operators have same precedence so we have to follow the rule of the associativity then we have first perform 17 minus 4 and this results 13 then plus 3 minus 6 and again in the next step we have to add 13 and 3 first and that result 16 and then minus 6 and finally 16 minus 6 that result as a output of 10 so in this way following the precedence and associativity rules we have solved this expression in another example we have to solve an expression x is equal to 12 plus 3 minus 4 slash 2 less than 3 plus 1. Now in this expression we are having a relational operator. So relational operator has uh, in a precedence level higher than the assignment operator but precedence level as compared to the addition 
and subtraction operation is less so in this uh, expression while solving we have to solve like this so again we are having a division operator that has the highest priority among all so 4 slash 2 results with 2 and the expression now becomes 12 plus 3 minus 2 less than 3 plus 1 now in this one addition and multi addition and subtraction uh, operators have higher precedence than the relational operator less than so we solve we operate first the additional and subtraction operator and following the rule of associativity so 12 plus 13 results 15 minus 2 less than 3 plus 1 now in the next step 15 minus 2 and this results 13 less than 3 plus 1 now here uh, in two operators less than and plus plus operator addition operator has the higher priority so we solve this one that is 3 plus 1 results with 4 so 13 minus 4 so this is the relational operator naturally 13 minus 4 is wrong and finally we get the output as a zero thus we have seen three examples that can that are solved using the rules of precedence and associ associativity so with this lecture we have understanding that you have got the knowledge of precedence and associativity and how this precedence and associativity is applied to solve the an expression for the correct result so we end our class at this point bye